Welcome back to Marissa's School of Photo Touching Brown Skin, Retouching Brown Skin. We've already done frequency separation, we've already done dodge and burn, and now we're going to do color correction. Let's start with um, setting up color grading. We've already learned how to do actions with the frequency separation and dodge and burn videos. So we won't set up an action for color correction, partially because for color correction, it differs for every single, like, you know, skin color that you use. Okay, so color correction is very similar to dodge and burn, where we're going to open up a curves layer. Now, when it comes to color correction, especially for brown skin, we really wanna look at the undertones and figure out what colors are we trying to bring out of the skin? So for Sierra, it looks like she's got yellow undertones and I'd also like to warm up her skin a bit. So with the curves layer, I'm going to bring out the yellows, bring down the blues and bring out the reds and bring down the greens. So I'll show you how to do that. So we can do this in a multitude of ways with the curves layer so we can do red and we can lift up the red just you know on the midpoint and that really warms up the skin i'll show you guys this kind of the same thing with the green so if you want to drop down the green as you can see dropping down the green adds bit adds more magenta to the image so if you drop it down more the image looks more magenta let's go back up to the red layer and i want to do a combination of red and yellow to kind of make the image a little bit more orangey and make her skin a bit more warm. So I'm going to lift up the midpoint just a bit in the red. So then I'm going to go to the blue layer and I'm going to drop down the midpoint. So it's just giving a little bit of warmth to her skin. Perfect. So that's it. That's really all I, all I wanted to do. And let's do a before and after to really see how that curves layer warms up the skin. Similar to dodge and burn, we're going to do command I to invert it. We're going to label this color, oh, color correcting. And now we're going to click on the paintbrush tool, make sure that the color white is um, uh, the foreground color. And now we're just gonna go over some of the gray areas that we see in the image. Where I see gray, personally, or a little bit of um, paleness to the skin is right here, right here in her jawline, right here, around her eyes, um, maybe up on the hairline, middle of the eyebrows, places like that. So let's start color grading. And what I love about color grading, this is honestly my favorite part of, um, of retouching because I love adding color back into the skin. Um, you know, frequency separation and dodge and burn are great tools, but there's something about color grading that I feel like really just takes the image up a notch, especially when you're um, dealing with brown skin. Um, it really removes kind of the grayness of the skin that, you know, I feel like some, some retouching jobs don't necessarily do and makes it just, it's like the, I don't know, like the fire on the candle. I don't know, like I'm trying to think of that metaphor. Alrighty. Okay. So now let's take a look at the before and after. Subtle, right? Very subtle. Um, let's take a zoom in to really show before and after. Before, after. As you can see right here in this area, it's a lot less gray, a lot more warm. And yeah, I think uh, this looks good. So that's essentially color correcting. It's super simple, super fast once you already have the retouching down. Color correcting is really just that, you know, mwah, that special touch. Yeah, this is a really fast, really fast Photoshop tutorial. 
Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know how your color correcting goes in Photoshop. Make sure you go and take a look at the color grading video where you'll see this image completely transformed. Um, we've done all the retouching, we've done all the skin, you know, skin prep. And so now is the fun part where we get to add colors and make the shadows cool and, you know, do all these cool, creative, unique things to make the image look a little bit more, I don't know, just a little bit more, like it just is that final touch, you know what I mean? So go ahead and check out the color grading video. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. What am I doing? What is this? Okay, bye.